Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel, and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use storyboard references. So, storyboard references are um, pretty essential if you're going to be using storyboards to create your app. And all they do are reference one storyboard to another. So, it's usually a bad idea to always use one storyboard because it makes it a lot slower and it's just like really slow. So. I like to just um, create multiple storyboards for each tab of uh, of my uh, of my app because then it's a lot easier to manage and it's just a lot cleaner. So what I'll do is oh yeah, and your app will always start on main dot storyboard. Well, actually, starts on launch screen and then it goes to main, but the main dot storyboard is the main one, so it always starts here. So what we can do here is I can add a button and this button will be a bit above the vertical so I'll make it minus 50 and oh, I don't, I shall name this go to storyboard 1 and then we'll na get a new button and name this uh, name this Actually, no, give it some constraints, I meant to say. Uh, we'll just name this Go to Storyboard. Go to Storyboard 2. So, now what we can do is we can create two storyboards. So, I'll just click New File, uh, Storyboard, and we can name this as Storyboard 1. Um, let's just create a view controller in this. Uh, this needs to be the entry view controller, otherwise the storyboard won't have an entry view controller and we'll just be stuck. And we'll just give this a background colour of red. And now we'll create a new file and a storyboard again. And we'll name this one storyboard 2. Uh, once again add a view controller. Uh, make this initial and then we'll just give this a background color of teal. So now the only thing we need to do is add some segues. So no, actually, first we need to add a storyboard reference. So we need to add two storyboard references since we have two storyboards we want to go to. So this first one will go to storyboard one. So it's actually really easy. All we do is type in storyboard and it should also complete the storyboard one. And on this one, we can just go to Storyboard 2, and it should also complete. So now we can just link these up, and we can pretend like these Storyboard references are just these two view controllers, and we can just uh, connect them with segues like you would do. So uh, we can just Action Segue, this will be a push, and Storyboard 2 will also be a push. Wait, actually, I may as well just drag it from the button since oh wrong one I'm just gonna drag it from the button instead of creating an IB outlook I mean IB action and then uh, click an, an action for the button so now all we can do is we can run this and this should be enough so once we're in this storyboard or a different storyboard we can just create a whole new a line of view controllers and it will be the same as if you're using the main storyboard so I just wait for my storyboard to load in and if we go to storyboard 1 you can see it pops up uh, I should probably make these full screen uh, full screen and storyboard 2 will also be full screen but you can just see how it like just refers to them as another view controller so there and you can change that segue whatever you want but that doesn't really matter so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in a future tutorial, bye.